Oh, yeah, flamethrower. I don't think he's come without it. 254. Yeah, he, he's like no joke. 254. He has like this little case. It's like this box. This magic box he has, right? So he pulls up and he opens his trunk and he pulls out this magic box and it's got all kinds of goodies in it. It's very, it's quite impressive. I can only imagine what people think when they see me like going up to the house like that. Huh? I can only imagine what people think when they see me going up to the house with that little box. You know, oh yeah. The facts and stuff. They probably think like you're a tool guy, like a maintenance man or something. Even though it doesn't look like a maintenance man box, but still, you could you could play it off as that. When I was at the airport at a box like that with some glass tubes inside. I have no muscles, but I'm flexing. And it was like just a little bit smaller. Mm -hmm. And so I'm going through TSA and since I'm wearing a baseball hat and I had a little box, the dude's like, let me guess, you're a baseball scout and you have your radar gun inside that. <laughs> <laughs> no, I guess again. I guess again. I, guess I think again. it's ready. Alright, hang on you guys. <laughs> I knew I was going to call. <laughs> <laughs> now it's dab time, 617, but you can't dab on cam, so I'll obviously have to lean that way because he's holding it, and if I lean this way, he wouldn't be able to hold it. Keep both feet on the floor. Yes, it is, 788. He's actually saving my ass with the situation. He's gonna get a kitty from me. A beautiful kitty. So what do you think you're gonna name him? I don't know. That's that's the question. Hmm. Yeah, I've been trying to find a home for this kitty. Yeah, he's taking the kitty, lovely. He's taking the kitty. He's so saving my ass. Oh my god. Yes, he's adopting the foster kitty 439. See, so many people know I've been trying to find this beautiful kitty a home for like a week now. So what should his name be? I don't know. I, li I, kinda li I like Mr. Jinx. What do you guys think for a name of a cat? Oh, shit. He's like part ganja. Ganja. That's a good name. Dying came up with ganja. I, I, I said Mr. Jinx too. Um, Daisy from... That's like the first name that came to my head when I saw him, or Jinky. Marley. Okay, what else you guys got? Give him Steely Cat. She's in Canada. Don't forget to pick up some catnip for the kitty, says 394. Marley is your dog? Call it Pebbles. It's a boy though. Pepper, Rasta Cat, Rambo, Salty, Jackie Lee, Cat Meat, Sugar, Honey, Dinner, Frank Taylor, Shithead, BJ, The Miss, Bubba Kanoosh, Jinxy, Deaf, Mr. Jinx. Puppy. Um, what else? Pricey cat. It's a boy though. Three, three, four. Call it pink cone. Or pink one. Pink one. There you go. That's cute. Price but it's a boy a though. Well. It's a boy. You can't call it pink one. Can you? Well, I guess you're a boy and you use pink in your name. Price is a boy's name. Mundu, Big Hog. Hi, Creeperson. Frank Taylor. Hearts, 671. 
Call the cat dispensary. Call it Chinese leftovers. Gretzky. General TSO kitty. <clears throat> huh? Yes, Daisy. 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 Whoa, whoa, whoa. It's a five seventy three. Price. Well, it's a that's a girl's name though. That's not a boy's name. Price. Seven eight eight. Call it tittles for fuck's sakes. Pussy. <laughs> like Prince. Yeah, Brie never logs in under your real name. Hey, Brie! She's special. What's up, Pussy girly? As a cat whisperer, you should, you should wait a bit and figure out his personality. That will help you develop a name. That's kind of true. I actually believe that, Creeperson, because I end up naming my cat one name, and then I get to know it, and then I always have a nickname for my cat, and the majority of the time, I end up calling the cat the nickname as of the real name. So you're 100% right about that. I don't know how old is the cat. I don't even know how old the kitty is, to be honest. Probably, I, I'm thinking like a year. So probably. Would. Maybe a little more than a year. Not much more. Nice, nice, nice. What up, Hollywood? Call it Fox Man. <laughs> nice. I miss seeing your name, Bree, in chat. Name the cat 12, 12 gauge because I knew the next day I was going to put a 12 gauge slug in it. Wow. It's not a kitten, it's a Mexican squirrel. Ninja. Haha, <laughs> Bree, that's funny. I had a feeling that was you, but I wasn't sure. I don't assume shit, unless I hear it from the person. Well, now I know I just, who I can say hi to. Yeah. Lay, how are you doing, Mama? No, you can't even hear Dubs. Dubs doesn't work. That is kind of a like, cute cat name. But it is. It I kind of like it, Dabs. I kind of like it. I even call him like Gabby. <laughs> Lay says, Dabs for the win. You name the cat Dun Dun Dun. Hello, 658. Call it Gappy. Okay, Brie. It has very unique markings, Creeperson. Like, the markings of it is like a gray tabby, right? It, but the it's, it's part Siamese and it's mixed with something else. Now the body of it is a Siamese. It has the Siamese bright, bright blue eyes. Um, it, it's kind of feral right now because it's been outside for so long and it's not used to human contact. But because me and my daughter have taken it in, <laughs> it's an, allowing us to give it love now. And um, he's just a lover boy. Like he's so sweet just the sweetest thing he's just very lovey he likes to cuddle you he's very affectionate he seems like he's grateful that he has a roof over his head because as long as i've lived here this cat's been living in the back and this is that's about six months now so 